morning YouTube it is a beautiful July 4th here in Omaha Nebraska I hope you guys are gonna have a safe day today we're gonna blow some stuff up maybe drink some beer probably should stay off your bike if you're doing that though don't drink and drive but well, welcome back to the channel and I just wanted to have some random thoughts for today so uh, let's get started Alright, so I have put about a thousand miles on this Nightster. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm going to do a video this week on a thousand mile review on it. Um, I also just wanted to talk today about how, what it's been like to ride here for the last thousand miles in the last couple months. Um, I have learned a lot. Uh, right now, this kind of morning, riding around, this is what it's all about. This is what I love. Just getting out here going doing what you want taking a ride not a lot of traffic out here um, I also have been commuting to work which has helped me tremendously you know planning my ride making sure that I'm doing things that I don't normally do to make myself a better rider but also just getting out here and getting that seat time that's really important and you know for a new rider I don't think there's anything better than just getting out there and riding so Get out there! Man, beautiful! That's Lake Cunningham in Omaha, Nebraska. Let's go! Guys, um... Alright, I do have a question for everybody out there. So, I've gone to a couple motorcycle events. Nothing specific. It's not Harley events, not anything. But I have noticed that, uh... Probably the biggest D-bags out there are the Indian riders. What's going on with them? I have no idea why you think your your bike is so much better than everybody else's. Like, Indian has gone out of business like five times. I think a company in Germany owned you at one time. I don't even, do they even have standalone dealerships? I looked, I could not find one. So write down in the comments if you think that they have a standalone dealership or if you know they do, let me know where it's at. Is anybody excited for the King of the Baggers this coming weekend? Laguna Seca, Kyle Wantman, Tyler O'Hara, Bobby Fong. Man, I love these races. I am really glad that they did that and I hope they continue to grow in popularity and I hope they continue to do them because I will tell you what, I absolutely love them. They're a lot of fun. Um, got a lot of talent. So yeah, write down in the comments, are you excited for this week's uh, Laguna Seca? King of the Baggers, Kyle Wyman dominance, Harley's dominance. Alright, so I'm going to jump on the interstate real quick. Um, I have been on the interstate on the nicer before and I didn't, it kind of made me a little nervous. Uh, I've only been on a handful of times, but... I'm going to try it in sport mode this time. I think that that is going to be a little better. Uh, traffic's pretty light this morning, so I'm just going up to the next exit anyway. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Grocery bill. Oh, someone crashed their boat last night. Got a DUI in their boat on the side of the road. Oh man, that is a huge difference. I don't know if that's just because I'm in sport mode or if I've just gotten used to it, but I don't mind that at all. I could ride that for a while. I mean, you're getting hit by the wind. It's a little bit, but that feels a lot better than the last time I was on the interstate. I think I'm doing 75 right now, which is good. Oh yeah. Oh, I can get the hang of this. 
And this is important because I'm gonna tell you what right now, when I come back home from work, I gotta drive through traffic and it's just, I think the interstate is going to be a lot safer because you don't have a whole lot of things to look out for when people are pulling out in front of you, people are going everywhere. So, um, yeah, man, this is cool. 70 miles an hour, I don't feel a whole lot. Sport mode on, nicer in six gear. Let's go, baby. All right, so Nightster, if you get taking it on the uh, interstate, put it in sport mode. That's probably a no-brainer for most people, but I'm a new rider, so cut me some slack. Get down here to Cubbies and get me a drink. You know, I don't think there's anything better than just a nice morning run. It's nice and cool out. Not a lot of traffic. Uh, it's it's amazing. Love. Best thing I ever did was buy a motorcycle. I bought, and like Adam Sandoval says, buy the damn bike. I did. And I will not regret this. I guarantee that. All right, guys. I really need to find like a cup holder or something for my bike. Is that a thing? Do people like drinking, ride the motorcycle? Woo! Sport mode, baby! Man, I'll tell you what, this bike is an absolute blast. This Sportster just gets it. Oh, I better probably slow down here. It's 4th of July. I'm sure that the Popo is out. And I do not want to be messing with any of that. So if you like motorcycle content, hit that like and subscribe button. I need some subscribers so I can make more videos, go on more trips, do more fun things with motorcycles. All right, so my GoPro's got about 39% left. So uh, I want to toss this out here, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. Um, like I said, like and just subscribe so I can make better content and get better equipment. And remember, ride till you fly. Thank you.